Hi, welcome to Vitamin Junkies. I'm Jennifer Lyle. I'm Dr. JJ. And we're addicted to good health. Today, we're going to be looking at vitamin B12. Mm -hmm. Dr. JJ is going to give us the whole scoop on it. Okay, vitamin B12 is a B vitamin, uh -huh, uh, which makes it a water-soluble uh, B vitamin. Uh, so today, I'm going to take uh, vitamin B12. There's uh, different forms of taking it. I'm actually going to take it in the form of a B complex. Uh, many patients I put on a high-potency B vitamin uh, because I find it, uh, it helps with energy. For women, it helps with PMS, it helps with menstrual cramps, helps with regulating your period, helps with depression, helps with acne. These are wonderful. Um, I take these for stress management uh, because uh, these are very good for stress management. Um, so you could take vitamin B12 in a pill form. So this is a little tablet here. Um, you could also uh, inject it. Some people may come for regular B12 injections. So you see it here, it's red. Um, so B12 is called cobalamin. It comes in three different forms, hydroxycobalamin, methylcobalamin, and cyanocobalamin. Um, I use the hydroxycobalamin for injections. Um, for those of you who have MS or a serious um, neurological disease, the methylcobalamin tends to work uh, a bit better. And uh, lastly, there's one more way of taking uh, vitamin B12, and that's sublingual. So these are vitamin B12 drops. Basically, you have a little dropper, you drop it in your mouth, you swish it around, and it gets absorbed through the receptors uh, under your tongue, uh -huh, right in here. So it works very well. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was taking some vitamin B12 shots for a while there just to help with my energy levels and just the adrenal fatigue. Mm -hmm. So I did find that it did make a difference. Yeah. Uh, one thing, though, I always warn all patients about this. When you take a B-complex, it's not abnormal that about an hour later you're going to pee bright yellow. So don't freak out. You're yeah. going to fluorescent bright yellow pee, which, you know, can interfere with your social life. <laughs> yes. And also, is that something that'll keep you up? Like, is that something you should be taking in the morning versus the nighttime, or? Uh, it depends. Um, most people actually find when you take a B vitamin, it actually helps you sleep. But as a general rule, I do like to have people take their B vitamins in the morning because it perks you up, gives you more energy for the day. Um, but yeah, usually it's better to take in the morning, but it's not gonna be a huge sleep disruptor. Mm -hmm. Now, you've mentioned a few different things that it does for women in particular, and you said mm -hmm. it helps with stress. Is there anything in general that it helps with? Uh, vitamin B12? Yes. Uh, it helps with a number of things. It helps make your red blood cells. It helps, uh, so preventing a certain form of anemia. It helps protect your DNA. It has anti-cancer properties. Uh, it's a cofactor in a number of hormone conversions. It's a cofactor for thyroid. It's mm -hmm. a cofactor for, uh, uh, for serotonin. Uh, vitamin B12 is, is great for a number of things. Also for patients with multiple sclerosis, MS. Vitamin B12 is very important for protecting the sheet around nerves, uh, called the myelin sheet. Uh, so that's very important for that. So how much do we actually need in a day? Mm, it depends on your disease condition. It uh, depends if you're a vegetarian. Uh, for example, uh, uh, we'll talk about sources of vitamin B12, but vegetarians tend to be deficient in vitamin B12. So you should be taking about 1,000 uh, micrograms a day of uh, vitamin B12. I'm sorry, that's, the trick. that's just for vegetarians or people in general? Uh, I would say just vegetarians. If you're, if you're the average person, if you take it in the form of a B-complex, mm -hmm. it's usually somewhere between 400 to 800, depending on the B-complex. Uh, micrograms, you should be okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So, natural sources of B12. Okay, so the problem with B12, if you are a vegetarian, is that there ain't a lot of non- um, animal sources of vitamin B12. Um, there are some seaweeds uh, somewhere in the Pacific that you don't often see on the shelf and they probably wouldn't taste that good and they probably cost a fortune. So really your best form of B12 is an animal source. So uh, organs, uh, particularly liver, mm -hmm. kidneys are very high in vitamin B12. Um, dairy is a source of vitamin B12 mm -hmm. and eggs. We've got some eggs here, we've got some cheese, mm -hmm. we've got some milk. Um, so if you Cheers. are a, a vegetarian, um, most commonly when I have, it, uh, have, uh, have patients coming in for regular B12 shots, they're usually MS patients, so multiple sclerosis patients, or vegetarians, and we put them on uh, oral support so uh, uh, to, to help them with energy. And a lot of them find that as soon as they get on B12, it's like, Ding! you know, their energy bounces back. Uh, works very well. And so you mentioned organ meat, but it, any meat in general is yeah. good, right? Yeah, any meat in general is good, but it's highest in liver and all the organs. 
Perfect. Mm -hmm. So what happens if you're deficient in B12? Uh, well, uh, if you're deficient in B12, you could, have, you could have a number of symptoms. Fatigue is a pretty common one. Um, also, because you need it, it's involved in, um, uh, in protecting your, uh, the myelin sheet on the nerves. I, I've seen a patient that actually ended up in a wheelchair because he was uh, vitamin B12 deficient. Wow. Uh, it ended up affecting uh, the nerve around his spine and he couldn't walk anymore. So that's very severe. It's not a very common case, but most commonly you could get anemia. So you could get vitamin B12 deficiency anemia. So you could get some fatigue. Um, it could get a number of problems. Also, thyroid issues too. B12 is a conversion for thyroid. So and then for thyroid. Yeah. just supplementing with the B12 will improve the conditions? Like, will, like your yeah. patient that was in the wheelchair, was he able to come out? No, or no, that no. Was it was, he, he was, so he was too far gone, but he, they weren't sure what was going on. Eventually, they figured out that he was, in fact, B12 deficient. And wow. his symptoms didn't get worse, but no, he couldn't come out of the wheelchair. The damage had already been done in the spinal, at his spine. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this, is, this is why you need to eat a balanced diet. Make sure you get lots mm -hmm. of good fruits and vegetables. Exactly, that's true. There. And also certain medications too may deplete your vitamin B12. So that's where you could see a naturopathic doctor or your doctor to find out what medications these may be. And you definitely want to make sure you, you supplement these. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. if you did want to find a practitioner in your community, you can go to the Find a Practitioner link on our website, vitaminjunkies.com. And that's also where you will find a button to subscribe to our podcast. And you can always see us every time a new episode comes out. Mm -hmm. And also, while you're there, please fill out our survey. We want to find out what types of episodes you would like to see us do. We are open to all your ideas. Um, so go to www.vitaminjunkies.com. And when you fill out that survey, you could win a chance to get $100 of uh, gift stuff from Hey Jude. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining us today. I'm Jennifer Lyle. I'm Dr. JJ. And continue the addiction to good health. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do.